How are you guys doing? You well? Good, good. I'm going to run an idea past you. Let me know what you think. I want to be the next James Bond, guys. I want to be the first Asian James Bond. Exactly, silence. <laughs> you bunch of racists. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a terrible idea. I really do believe that. And I think an Asian James Bond won't work. It's just he'll just be too good. <laughs> it just won't be interesting to watch. You know, he'll be, so, he, he'll be focused on his mission. He won't get distracted. He won't go missing in action, <laughs> right? He won't be chasing femme fatales because he doesn't believe in sex before marriage. <laughs> And Agent James Bond will be really good undercover. You know, if I was wearing a suit, I'm in a fancy restaurant, a hotel, a casino, people would just think, I work there. <laughs> so good at disguise. There's no way my cover would be blown. No way my cover would be blown. I even if I had a name tag that said James Bond, and I announced to everyone, my name is James Bond. No one will believe my name is James Bond. Look at me! <laughs> Bond? What is Bond short for? <laughs> Bond, voila! <laughs> James? You mean Jamal? <laughs> you are Jamal Bond, voila! <laughs> you are not English spy! You are a comedian. <laughs> uh, so I'm an uncle, believe it or not. Well, it wasn't my doing. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, I'm trying to be a good role model to my nieces, my nephews, and whatnot. Um, you know, I want them to be able to think for themselves, be critical, uh, be empowered. Uh, and I was babysitting my niece. She's seven years old. And I put the, t you put the TV on, and, and Netflix recommended uh, the BBC drama, The Bodyguard, right? Not the film with Whitney Houston. Let me clear that up, the, the drama, right? And the opening scene, it's very tense. And we were just, so, we were just hooked the first scene, and there's an off-duty policeman, uh, and he's on a train, and he gets intelligence that there's a bomb threat on the train, right? And, he's, and so he approaches the suspect. It's a tall guy with a beard. He searches him. He's got nothing on him, so he lets him go. But then he follows his wife, who snuck into the, the ladies' restrooms, and he kicks the door in, and there's a close-up of, of a woman with a hijab on, looking terrified, as you would if you were caught taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but she does actually have, she's got, you know, she's got bombs uh, strapped to her waist. And he goes, is your husband making you do it? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do it. And I switched the TV off. Because, uh, you know, unfortunately my niece, she's seven. Uh, you know, it's, it's really tough. And then she turned to me and she goes, Sishan Chachu. Chachu in, in, in Urdu and Pajami is uncle. Sishan Chachu. Why'd you turn the TV off? Are you a scaredy cat? <laughs> I know, so cute. How do I explain to my seven-year-old niece why I switched TV off? And I said, no, I'm not a scaredy cat. But I just didn't want you to watch this scene and think one day a white man can talk you out of blowing yourself up. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be the best version of yourself. <laughs> if you want to blow up that fucking train, make sure everyone fucking dies. <laughs> Yes, queen! <laughs> now, for the record, I know there are cameras here. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that. Uh, but that's actually what happens. That's the big surprise. She's a feminist suicide bomber. And I've been wondering, like, for diversity, what's next? What can top that? <laughs> when I heard that I've heard there's producers and writers in the room. Maybe you can back this one up. <laughs> but I think, you know, maybe, maybe you'll be like, okay, we want a northern Somali transgender woman who's Muslim. Uh, and to make her more human and relatable to the average British person, <laughs> she loves bacon. <laughs> She's gluten intolerant. <laughs> so what happens in this show? Okay, so we know, she, what are the facts? We know she's Muslim, she loves bacon, she's gluten intolerant. We'll get her to the Great British Bake Off, to the finals. And for the showstopper, she'll blow herself up. <laughs> that seems to be the character arc of most Muslims in, uh, in dramas today, isn't it? Um, and I think, you know, this is the thing, like, when, when we do see Muslims on screen, I think everyone is just secretly wondering, 
On a scale from one to ten, how combustible are they? <laughs> right. I think I'm a seven. <laughs> I think I'm a seven. Am I a seven? I'm a seven, guys. Uh, that's my time. You've been great. Enjoy the rest of your night. <laughs>